Green game taking over, that's a promise, not a threat. Uppercut, season, north top, you stop breathing. You know, and uh, we also got a, you know, the show, we got a Showtime triple header too. Uh, you know, in the but we also got some previews. You know, we had J Rock and Andre Durrell in the fucking previews of all. You know, two seeing those two in the previews in the YouTube previews is just like, ugh, just crazy. You know? Yeah, but you have to because J Rock hasn't won a fight in three years, and Andre Durrell's Andre Durrell. <laughs> yeah. Was, actually, oh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say that's J Rock's first fight at one sixty. My fault. Yeah. yeah, and you know, I mean, I was hoping that J Rock would actually stop the jobber that he was facing, but you know. I guess you. I guess you, when you get, you gotta get a win. How do you get it? So it's like, okay, you know, let me box dude up. Even though dude was kind of fighting a little dirty, and like, yeah, let me get this decision and just go around. And it was an eight rounder too, not even a ten rounder. I'm like, jeez. So no, but he won all eight rounds. Like he looked good, like capable. He looks like, okay. Yeah, he, he, he looked capable. Good. Yeah. I mean, I wanted the knockout, but you know, I, I understand like when you haven't won a fight in three years and you got knocked out, you know, again. You, you, you took beatings in your last I mean, yeah, yeah, your last fight, you went life and death. Then you got knocked out the the fight before that. Yeah, yeah. You, you got the banana pudding in the hometown. <laughs> in the hometown. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you're supposed to just win by, by now. like Right, so at least he did that. So, I mean, good for him, you know, see how he operates at 160. And then Andre Durrell, you know, and one thing with Andre Durrell, this one, you can tell that he definitely lost some speed. You know, he definitely lost the movement like that he used to have. Like he had it, but it was it's not as sharp as it used to be. You know, but dude was offensive against Gonzalez. He was he was he was in the pocket. And of course, the guy's eye trademarked and everything. But um, dude never let his, dude never did take his foot off the gas and eventually stopped him in the in the final round. You know, after the referee was like I had to wave it off. So I mean, I don't know what Andre Drell's gonna do. I mean, the nigga's thirty nine years old and he's fighting at light heavyweight, so it's like. You know what? What? what we, what's Andre going to undergo? Like, I, and I'm a fan of Andre Durrell, but it just in in the rightful world, you know, Andre Durrell would would have been a, a legit world champion. Like, is he because he beat Carl Frotch? Like, don't let this motherfucker fool you. Yeah. Like that, that motherfucker beat Carl Frotch. Like that. that heard, was, him, heard him twice too. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I still, I you know, I might need to rewatch it because that shit. I mean, I. I, I I have that shit on my hub. Like that motherfucker won that fight with Frost. I don't know what the fuck these niggas was. No, I, 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 I gotta watch it again because I had a a big argument with somebody that said call that said Darrell deserved to lose the fight because he kept diving at at Frotch, basically trying to suck his dick. And I was like, <laughs> oh. Nah, he, he was trying to he, he was just trying to make jokes like. Like Carl Frost was fouling and yeah, he, yeah he was throwing. Playing, he's playing dirty and shit. I mean, really. Like, like if you look, there's no highlights of of um Carl Frost landing any type of punch or significance in the clean no, there wasn't. He couldn't get anything going. His offense was trash. Like. Yeah, that was one of the worst, biggest robberies over there in the UK. Yeah, and the reason why it was in there because it was in Nottingham. It was in fucking Carl Rogers' hometown. That was the whole reason why he got the fucking nod. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, 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 Frotch and the decisions that he got that he didn't deserve. You know, Durrell, Kessler, like fuck out of here. I, I'm not gonna go on a Carl Frotch rant now. So. But then, as karma serves, in the next fight when he fought Kessler and. He fought in, well, I think, what is it, uh, Iceland or yeah, whatever. Iceland, the, yeah. And uh, he lost, and he was complaining about, oh, uh, if, if if it was in the UK, I would have won. It was a close fight. Like, nah, motherfucker, you lost. You right. had that fight in the back alley somewhere. You would have lost there, too, nigga. Like, right. And cut that shit out. That ugly back foot caveman boxing you be doing. <laughs> You know, but yeah, it, it's just like, you know, but I mean, but it's just weird now because that whole generation is pretty much like it's gone and he's like the last man standing. So it's like, what's, you know, I mean, I mean, Darrell, I mean, I, ho I hope the guy Darrell never gets to the point where he has to face a better people of all the reason. It's going to be super ugly if he does. But hey, you know, nah, I mean, he'll, he'll have Callum Smith and Zerto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, get, him, get him a fight with Jake Paul. Fuck it. Yeah, but, but at least, I mean, at least I can say Darrell, at least, he, I mean, it was good to see him sit on his punches, because, I mean, he, you know, although it took him a little bit, I mean, I, to me, I mean, Gonzalez, it took him a little bit to stop him, but at least he stopped him, so, good for him. Oh, he, oh, he got a stoppage on that one? 
Yeah, he got he stopped him oh, in the okay. final yeah, round. I know he won. I know he got stopped it. That's cool. Yeah, but no, he, he, I mean, but he still he still got he gets he, he still got hit. You know, I mean, his eye was trademarked and shit. So it's like, yeah, you know, he he. I mean, he did his thing, but I mean, hopefully he doesn't get hurt again because you know this nigga did spend like his like four years out of his prime, like recovering from the Abraham fight. So it's like Oh, I just had to look by the way, just a stat correction. Uh the Frosch Ketzler fight was in Denmark, not Iceland. Oh, okay, Denmark, Denmark, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, nah, Denmark makes it it was uh Copenhagen, right? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. To me, it's like the same difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, I knew it. it, it I, I, dude, I be watching the Viking shows. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't remember. I knew it wasn't in Norman. I mean, Normandy or, or Norway, or, Norway, Norway. Yeah, that's what. It is. <laughs> I know it wasn't in fucking uh, Norway, and I know it wasn't in Greenland. So I was just like fucking I, I, Iceland, nigga. Like I mean, <laughs> like I knew it was wrong, but I just couldn't remember. I, I, it wasn't Scandinavia, like. Yeah. And you see, I can remember all these fucking places now after he said the place. Right. You know, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That that, that one sixty eight era, man. One sixty eight was never as popping as it was during. During during the Super Six era, the Super Six era. Nah, it got popping after that with uh, Badu Jack and them niggas. Yeah, when 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 um, you know, when, when nobody cared about Kalzaki and all that, because you know Frost is still bitching that oh well he never got the show to get the Kalzaki. Nobody fucking cared. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> remember, you had all those little fights with um, Porky. The mm-hmm. Darrell Bika. Yep. Fuck Bika. The, the um Nah Bika had some scraps. Fuck nah, that. Bika, like, Bika was that dude. Fuck Kelzaki. Nah. nah. Bika was dirty as fuck. He was, he was. Yeah, but he was probably the only one, like he did it and it was just like, oh, it's just a going good fun. He's just doing what he needs to oh, do. Oh, nah, stop, stop that shit. shit. Stop <laughs> that shit. <laughs> no, nigga, it's the truth. Like that, that, that's how nigga that's nah, how the nigga was for I, me. I hate I hate I hate dirty. Nah people. nah. Don't don't do that shit. That shit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, like I mean I, I I was a fan of his when he cause when when he bashed up Kalzaki, like Kalzaki looked like what the fuck? Nah, he was he was that the was some Nah man. Biko, Biko was the fucking boxing equivalent of Zaza Pachulia. Dirty fuck. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah, he was not clean. Like, you know, Bika, Bika made for good scraps, though, but I became a fan because Kazaki, even Kazaki admitted, it's like, he's like, the only fight I ever, I ever left bashed up was against Bika, you know, because he was a tough SOB. Like, yeah, like he put, like, he put hands, elbows, headbutts, all. <laughs> Knees like he's everything. Forearms like yeah, it, it, it was wonderful. I, I I had to become a fan. I had to I had to be a fan of that dude afterwards. Don't worry, it, it, Jeff Lacey doesn't get an imaginary win because of that. Okay, well, you have to bring up you know what you oh, got him, got him. You you don't have to bring I'm up just saying, you, like you, you know like. You, you, you be having too much joy in like the weirdest fucking fights. You, you, you goddamn right. That cause I can fight because ever since the nigga said he didn't like hard fights, he, he made himself a public enemy to me. He didn't and, like who? Yeah, ain't no ain't no damn hard. Ain't, you're not gonna go you know on a on a medium and talk about. I, I don't want the hard fights and you know you're fighting oh, and, 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 you're, and, you're, yeah. and you're fighting against Peter Manfredo's and shit like that. Like get the fuck out of here, bro. Like nah. Like you know, you, you're gonna get this bashed up work. Like so, bad yeah, Bika, salute, salute Bika. You know, you know, we we need more Bikas in boxing. We don't have enough of them. Fuck no. Nah, oh, we God. we don't need Bruce Bowens with gloves, nigga. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm straight on all that rough shit. Yeah, I, I I might have to watch some. I might have to rewatch some Bika fights this week. Yeah, cause I, I think Bika must have a have a forgotten fade that I've I've. Nah, that Cordington that a uh, contender fight is a damn. Um, it's a classic. It's a classic. Yeah, because yeah, poor Cordington, I think that pretty much took everything out of him <laughs> after that fight. He was no good after that fight. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that 168 era was special. I could, yeah, but let me let me not digress anymore on that because uh, you know I can go on on because that that was a special era 168. You know. 168 now has a lot to, you know, we can't even get two niggas to even fight. We can't, you know, without any type of bullshit, you know. Well, of course, it's across all divisions, but. Because this super middleweight era was the era to feed me. 
Yeah. Where, where one guy just kept getting fed certain people. Right. Cause, <laughs> right. Because the promoter who owned them all, like, he could never get them to fight each other. Mm hmm. So he, he, he took one of his favorite fighters and said, okay, you fight him first, then you fight him next, then, hey, this is guy across the street talking shit. Fight him too, will you? And he's like, okay, got it. And, you know, boom. Yeah. Yeah, the 168 is a is a strange fucking division these days, you know. But um, but yeah, like but yeah, I can talk about 168 all fucking day though. But the main card itself. No, no, nah, nah, let let pilot say what you yeah, want to yeah. say. I was I was trying to do a segue about 168, but we're gonna be talking about it. So yeah, no, we're we're gonna be talking about one. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, I mean the the main card opened up with Nathaniel Gallimore versus. A Polish guy I had never even seen before. Like, I, I, this might be one of those. It might be the attempt where HBO used to we'll try to push um, Cletus Selden. Like, it's like, oh, you know, this is a guy. Hey, you know, he's a, he's he's Polish. He's a middleweight. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, what was his damn nickname they had for his ass? The oh, Jewish man. Hammer. Oh yeah, the Jewish yeah, Jew, the Hebrew <laughs> Hammer or something like that. The Hebrew Hammer, yeah, the, the Hebrew, Hebrew, Hebrew Hammer. hammer. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, HBO was really, and then of course he got. It, it, uh, it's like I had like a a, a segue joke, but I, I think we covered all of that last night. <laughs> uh, I was actually thinking about saying something for a lot, but I'm gonna say no right now. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Guys, like, we on our light skin shit, P. Like real talk, like we on the same. Shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I had a nickname from, but I just realized I couldn't. I was about to say, but I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up. I can't really, I can't really say his nickname like that. On, on, <laughs> I am like, no, <laughs> I have to be careful, you know. Yeah, but yeah, you know. So, so then was a roided bump. Yeah, the, you know, uh, and I have. You know, but that's how it's all. Don't get canceled, you know. You, you can't call some people bums, man. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> You know, but it, well, he was the definition of one. You know, you know, he he he, he ended Zab Judah's career. You know, yeah, exactly. Was, so fuck him for that. Yeah, and he, he was dirty. He, he was a dirty, broided bum. You know, fuck him. You know, but the, the this Polish guy that they introduced, you know, against Nathaniel Gallimore, I'm thinking to myself like, oh yeah, you know, we yeah, PBC's trying, you know, try to, you know, and, you know, put, get a new middleweight in the way in the mix, and of course. For ten rounds, Nathaniel Gallimard, I don't know if he was paid to take this beating or what. But dude just got hands put on him like from like beginning to end. Like I was just like and I don't know if Gallimard just has a good chin or what, but I was just like, Jesus Christ, like that was a bad beatdown. Yeah, is Gall- when is Gallimore not getting beat up these days though? So I mean, come on now. Yeah, but it's like you should be. I mean, this. I mean, if you're gonna get beat, like, you, like the referee should like stop the fucking fight. Like you know, it's just like why why subject yourself to just getting hands put on you like that? Like it was it was just like it it, it was just I was just shaking my head. I'm just like this is this is bullshit. Like they shouldn't this like you should they should have you should have had the Darrell fight in this spot. Then if this is what if this is what Gallimore is gonna be doing, like this because I mean outside of like the one uppercut or so that he would land, but it was just like it was just a steady beating. I'm just like. Like, it was brutal. That was a brutal beatdown. Yeah, I was like, stop this shit, but they let it go the distance and shit like that. I'm just like, and I, I just felt nothing but disgust. I'm like, okay, uh, so I guess this is going to be uh, Jamal Charlo's next opponent <laughs> at some point. Damn. Yeah, it, 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 it was bullshit. I was like, this is this is horrible. Like, why am I watching? Why, why, like, why am I watching this? Why did it go the distance? You know, but uh, I mean, but at least, hey, I guess the guy speaks English, so I guess that's a plus for him. So you know, he's gonna get like a high profile middleweight fight or something, you know. Um, and then we had, you know, Glass Body, aka, you know, Jason Rosario. And I know there was a sus joke that one of them. That one of them said on air about his nickname Banana. I forgot. I forgot what it was, but I know some somebody said something a little bit that was like, "Well, wait a minute." That was kind of like, you know, pause. Like, no, like you didn't need to say that. Um, but yeah, Jason Rosario, he moved up to 160 because he was reportedly killing himself to make 154, and he said he walked around as, as high as 190. Damn. So yeah, so you're like, hey, you know, you, you know, so this is supposed to be an advantage for him. And it wasn't. What, yeah, you know, what the it's, fuck it's one of those. I think he took too long to move up. So His body man. was already done because he looked so big in that J Rock fight. Like he looked, you know, like he looked for 154. He looked way huge in that fight. He he needed to be at 160 then, right? 
And, Trying to be a different fighter. Yeah, and this dude, I mean, you know, Rosario was like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I can do what I need to do. And he's facing somebody who is also coming up on 154, too, himself, in Brian Mendoza. And Brian Mendoza put a whooping on him. Like, you know, he, he knocked him down with the body shot in round two, and I thought the fight yeah. was going to be over after that. Yeah, yeah the double up body shot was, he had yeah. with two fierce body shots. So. Yeah. And I'm like, here we go again. And then the knockout, like, dude landed, like, dude landed a highlight reel, like, short uppercut. Uppercut. And Rosario was just, like, gone after that. Yeah, he was gone. That was a beautiful uppercut, though. Yeah, it was. Like, you know, and, you know, and and I'm happy for Mendoza because, like, oh, yeah, because that probably, that probably gets him, like, another high profile fight out there. But Mm -hmm. Rosario, like, I I think Rosario, though, Wisely was like, yeah, th- yeah, this is it for me. Like he announced you know, his retirement. Yeah, he announced his retirement after. Yeah, it, it, yeah, he was done. I'm like, it, 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 it's just weird how the how some of the unified champions of have, uh, have war. I mean, we have Heard, who like is is like in limbo right now. Like his career is like in like we don't know what it is. And J Rock, who's now just getting his first win in three years, is like the 154. Like kind of destroy these guys at the point where it's like now they're just like. It's like, sharks, bro. It's sharks out in the one. Yeah, yeah. One, one, one fifty four is a magical division. If, if only the other divisions operated like this. But see, it's sharks, but it's sharks in like a, you know, in a shallow and been. Yeah. That's why these, these niggas can't make weight, and it's like you ain't supposed to have like twelve foot bull sharks and fifteen to twenty foot damn tiger sharks and great whites and then and this little. 10 foot deep pool right those are when those interesting because you know like he you know this was his first fight at 160 you know he maybe earned himself a lot of fight or something or he can move down to 154 and get in the mix you know maybe a trello opponent some bullshit like that probably oh shout out to joshua oh yeah i just have to say i'm sure jo- salute joshua we see yeah. you you know but yeah yeah i mean rosario i mean I mean, hey, at least he, he became champion. He made a little money. Yeah, but yeah, if you're, if you're going up and you're still getting bodied by a body shot or getting by I mean, like, his punch tolerance is gone. Like, he can't take no punches no more. It's just like, yeah, you might have... Yeah. It's, yeah. it's funny because um, I've always said this, that Jason Rosario has the glass body that everybody accuses Keith Thurman of having. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because at some point, if you have a glass, something is going to get cracked. And mm-hmm. Keith Thurman, it's only come back to bite him, but it hasn't made him, like, get knocked out. He, he, hasn't, he hasn't been dropped from a body shot, you know? I mean, he's held his mouthpiece a no, few times. No, but <laughs> I, I've said he, it's, it's come back to bite him because the body shot, his, his glass body is the reason why he lost to Pacquiao. Yeah, mm-hmm. So it did cost him, but it hasn't cost him to the point where he's knocked out, you know, banging on the damn canvas like De La Hoya or some shit. Like, right. <laughs> but but the way these niggas talk about him, you would think that happens like every other fight. Yeah. <laughs> like like Keith like like Algeri gets barrel rolled more than Keith Thurman gets hurt with body shots. That's also <laughs> facts. <laughs> That's pure pure facts. You know, but yeah, it's just like yeah, Rosario is just like yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't need to fight anymore. Like hey, you know, just yeah, call it, yeah, call it a day. It's just like because yeah, you just can't root, like, root on your countrymen. Yo, that's all. I mean, he was on a little streak with the Dominican club cards. I saw him on a few of those, but yeah, he's at the higher level. He's better off just. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I mean, a former champion, like he can't be getting body. Like I mean, he got bodied by Lubin. He got body by Charlo. I mean, J- Charlo stuck a fucking jab in his gut, and this motherfucker looked like he was about to die. He was like, convulsing. Yeah, I never forget. Yeah, that shit was scary. Like, he was convulsing. He had a seizure. Yeah, it's just like yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like we have. Yeah, I didn't think he could come back from that. So that was that was crazy enough. Right, but yeah, when you land someone that's a little bit too unheralded, because Mendoza was like a. Like a 300, 400 uh, plus three, like underdog. Like he was like, he, yeah, he was like, I mean, you think that Rosario would have, would have been able to get rid of him, but yeah. Oh, so he was a Bivol type underdog. Yeah. It was like, <laughs> and, I, and yeah. it shows up, I mean, Minnesota definitely is a hub for the PBC boxing because, you know, sometimes their crowds look empty. That shit was pretty packed. It's yeah, like, you know, and that's a good segue because, yeah, I mean, it's pretty packed because now David Morrell kind of made that shit his, like, his quote unquote city. 
you know, of, of all places, you know, for a Cuban, like, you know, but hey, you know, to each is his own, but, uh, I, mean, I didn't it, know that, I, 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 I didn't know there was Cubans in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, if they're gonna consistently put events out there, then you better, you gotta make a home somewhere, because these niggas do not capitalize on no Cuban population down here, so, hey. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean he better be careful though if he you know he's making a name for himself for fighting in a city where a certain you know uh a certain uh you know artist likes to oh well you know you know we can't have these illegals here you know fba you know get him get him out of my state <laughs> Wait, who's that out of here. you know who i'm talking about we're not going to give his name any shine out here <laughs> fuck him other than his, his new, you know, other than he did block us again on his new Twitter handle. <laughs> oh my god, that, Duck he's, man. he's such a clown. Oh, sh- you know, but uh, but yeah, Dave Morrell, you know, he's made his uh, he's made his little hook. Yeah, like every time he fights there, like he brings out the crowds, and you know, against his quote unquote mandatory for his GameStop belt, Ados, Ados. <laughs> You of all the names, Ados, you Boston, <laughs> you Boston newly, yeah. Then you know, and, the yeah, and I mean, the, the common opponent. Before we get to a mismatch, their common opponent, um, Ados, stopped the guy where Morel is the only guy with the distance with him. So yeah, you know, so they, yeah, so that, and that's what that's what they were using in the build up. And then Ados was saying that hey, he's the direct, he's a direct descendant of Genghis Khan. So it was like he's like, you know, you, I mean, yeah, you got to sell the fight one way or another, you know. And you, you and eight million other fucking people, because Genghis Khan had so many fucking kids. So, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Not saying much. Sounds yeah. good to anybody who doesn't know history, right? <laughs> you know, but <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this fight—it mean, was an entertaining scrap. You know, I mean, of course, you know, this fight had, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, it ended up with someone in a coma. But for the for the first half of this fight, it was competitive enough. You know, you boss us, you boss us, you boss us, and newly. This is called Mado. Yeah. I mean, he was, he was making the fight of it, but he was still getting tagged a little too much. You know, yeah. against Morel. Like, Morel, you know, was pretty much able to land, like, anything, like, anything on him. He was he was trying to bully Morel, and he paid for it. Yeah. It, it was a horrible, it was a horrible strategy. Because, dude, I mean, dude, within a couple of rounds, his, his face was busted up. His mouth was busted, yeah, early. If mm. Three rounds in. Man, I saw like him in the corner. I was like, God damn, his mouth is bleeding out of his mouth like a motherfucker. It's because Morel punched so hard, and he was punching through the guard, mixing up combos, angles, just <laughs> just everything. Like, he was just... Yeah. Like, he had these out- offensive outbursts that just... He'd be overwhelming at times, and... Man. Uh, Ados, what well, Ados was? That's his name. Ados, yeah. Sorry. Ados was just right there, just taking him. He would fire back. He tried to block Perry, pick him off, but he was walking. He's trying to walk through them shits. <laughs> yeah, like, and he would just get battered with them shits, and then he would come back, launch his counter attack, and it'd be cool for the most part. But it's never, it never even uh, exchange ever. It wasn't. Right. It was never really an even exchange. Yeah, exactly. I mean, sometimes yeah. in that case, you know, that at the end result, it's better to have a glass jaw like Jose Valenzuela sometimes than be than be as tough and durable as a uh, Ados was. To be yeah, he was too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And and the funny thing is too is like he, he was getting so beat up that he was starting to clinch because no one wanted to say, hey, you know, maybe we should start stop this fight, you know. Tony Weeks didn't want to stop the fight. I don't think Tony though. He did take. He did actually. He did take a point though. I thought know. that was weird when it was clearly, dude. You know, I would have asked the dude, "Does he want to continue at that point instead of taking a point?" Yeah, he was holding on for dear life, literally. But see, that was the one point he tried to survive. Every every part up into that fight, he was competitive and you know Going throwing back. punches. So it's like. That's why my whole thing I can't even really get at dudes it, it wasn't really into the 12th Or maybe the end of the 11th Where it just seemed like Morel had dude Really really hurt on, on his way Out of there like other than that It was a uh, one of those fights I mean cause look at this Jojo took the same Type of whooping last week He did He did yeah uh, I mean I think Kate Karoma the corner I, I mean if you want to pin you know 
pinned down. I mean, maybe it was the corner. I don't want to blame the commission. I guess they had no oxygen, but the, his corner kind of failed him. I guess in hindsight, but I mean, not really, because again, like he was competitive until, the, you know, he was competitive enough until the twelfth. You know, Dude, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, are we gonna really? chastise motherfuckers for the 12th like that like the way people going on in the you know on twitter and and, and, and shit is like these dudes that this man takes five extra rounds of punishment when it's like morel seemed like morel seemed like he could have just turned it up at any time but then it also seemed like he didn't want to gas out because he felt dude was still competitive yeah, he was, he was playing with him. Sometimes. Well, I mean, Morel was slowing down. The body, the body work was definitely getting to him. You could tell because yeah. his output wasn't the same after like what the seventh or eighth round. His output, I mean, Morel's right. output was, wasn't because you know early on Morel was just balls to the wall, you know, active, but it slowed down and made it kind of more. It was, I mean, the, the fight was more competitive than Zerto Bivol. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Exactly. That, that's that's the crazy part. But it was, so, it, it, it was just, uh, just like uh, I mean, just the, just the ending sequences of that fight. I mean, because after yeah. after Ados got because the of knockdowns, uh, that twelfth was brutal. Yeah, like the first knockdown was brutal. Like the referee should have stopped it then, but he let him get up, and then Morel fucking you know landed a dragon uppercut of all things. Like dude took that shit from almost damn near the canvas and like. Nah, it looked like the cut. Um, it looked like the uppercut that uh, Axel uses in Streets of Rage. Where he's like, ground <laughs> up, bar. like that. that yeah, shit. <laughs> like, he, he bring that shit from the concrete. Like ground up, bar. like yeah, he, yeah. Like dude, dude hit that canvas ASAP. Like dude went into that canvas. Like he was, he was gone. Like his like but, but, but Tony, Tony Weeks should have them stopped the fight after the first knockdown. Like when yeah. he seen dude wobbling. Look, I'm like, damn, like. What is it with on these PBC cards? How these niggas, these old school refs, and I say old school because Weeks and Jay Nady have been around for years. Right. Yeah, Weeks has been refing longer than I've been alive. So, right. So, so yeah. what I'm saying is these dudes, they will see a guy literally knock the fuck out and they'll help him out on his feet and put him back on his feet, walk him around the ring, only for him to get. A damn near sent to the nether realm afterwards. <laughs> right, exactly. I, I'll never forget Jamel Charlo and, and Jorge Coda. Mm-hmm. Or that two piece Charlo dropped him with. Coda hit that ground so fucking hard. Like, I knew that was it. Done. What this fucker J. Nady do? He picks him up, wipes his gloves off, looks at him, holds him up. Like, he balances him and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, like, this ain't a fucking puppet here. Right, Charlo to just be like, I right, fucking bye bye, and and and, and hit you him know, with even better one too. It's like, right, yeah, yeah. And that's it, what it, this nigga did. That's what Morel did. Like, he let off more crazier shots until he did a fucking dragon punch. Yeah, yeah. And the funny thing is too is like, and 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 the one one thing that struck me was when Tony was helping was helping Ados up or whatever, like. Ados corner was like it was something that was a little bit too slow. It's like yo, get in the right. And fucking Ados was talking about, oh yeah, I can actually, you know, I'm actually fine. But then you see dude wobble into the ropes, and then Morel came and had to hold him up. And you see Ados is clearly he's not doing well, you know. And it's like, where's it? Uh, why isn't it his corner rushing to actually get dude and actually bring him to a stool and shit like that? Like, like what is going on? It's like you know, why is Morel yeah, doing one that's actually doing long. it? It was taking long with the stool several times in the rounds. I yeah. noticed that, yeah. Yeah, it's like that shit was like it was terrible. It's like, and then of course you, you you see the tweets later that saying that hey that Ados, you know he got he got taken out on a stretcher, and you know that's never good when you hear that. You know it's like and it's just and then I know the, they were kind of mixed reports like oh you know he just you know false reports going on. Yeah, they were saying oh he he was able to walk around later and shit like that and all that stuff, and I'm just like, and then you hear like hey. You know, dude is not doing well. He's in the hospital. He's, you know, he's, you know, he's in a coma. They, 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 had, they had to put him in a coma. You know, apparently, you know, the, he has some uh, some dirt hematoma. You know, those are the two words that boxers you don't ever want to hear that uh, a boxer, you know, boxer suffer because it's a career ender. Yeah, Patrick you know? Day had that. Rest in peace. Um, I, I think Maxim Dashadov, the the yeah, team, oh, chef. Yeah. That is that stuff, is, yes. yeah, yeah, both of those guys had it. Even I think Pritchard Cologne supposedly had had that. So, you know, yeah. 
Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he doesn't say, suffer that same fate. You know, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, fuck yeah. the career. Hopefully, he survives because <laughs> I mean, his career is over. You know, hopefully, his yeah. life's. You know. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing. Cause, I mean, brain injuries are like. I mean, I mean, let's say we're all. I mean, we've. I mean, boxing. I mean, you have to, boxing is a brutal sport. Like, I mean, we, I mean, I know we have to think that. Hey, these guys can just absorb all this shit and nothing happens to them. But every now and then, you just never know. Cause like boxers, boxers have a certain. They have a number of fights. They have a number of punches. They have a limit that they can take. Like you know, it's. I mean, some of them. Some people can take a whole bunch of punches and they don't. And they don't. And you, they don't show like a George Foreman. Like George Foreman is loose as hell in his seventies, and dude fought in two of the greatest heavyweight eras in boxing, you know. And then you have some that like like a David Reed who took one bad beating and you know it was never the same again. Did he even fight after that Tito fight? Oh, he did. It's he it's did, not, yeah. not he pretty. did unfortunately. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not pretty. It's 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 actually it's it's sick to watch. But he did, and you know. Bad. Yeah, it's like yeah, boxers. Yeah, it's just like you know it, when it happens. Like I mean, it was, actually, I was surprised when Superman when he, when he said he picked up a brain bleed from the Vosdek fight. You know, it's just like it, it happens. So it's a, it's an unfortunate thing because you know you get hit in the head sometimes. You know, sometimes things will go. But in this particular thing, you know, Ados, you know, who took you know a steady beating up into the final round and get, then gets brutally knocked out in the final round. You know. It, you you get you get you get what you get unfortunately so i mean hopefully yeah uh, he, you know he does recover from that fight hopefully he, get, he regains his powers you know against full powers like he doesn't have any deficits or anything like that but yeah um, we don't want to see another gerald mcclellan you know gerald mcclellan situation or anything like that yeah you know? yeah you don't want to see it because i mean unfortunately like i said you know some of these guys that like, you know you t- some i mean if a boxer can you know and you know can if a boxer can actually have a full career and not get a brain injury, like yeah, they, you know they gambled and the and the, and the gamble paid off. But yeah, more often than not, you know it's a reminder that it still happens. Like you know, you know, brain, you know, the brain is a sensitive organ. Like you know, you know, eventually, you know, you know, you know too much punishment and you know some things, bad things happen, unfortunately. So I mean, and you, you just hate to say that you know, dude lost his zero in his career in the same fight. Yeah, I mean. On within 36 minutes, man. Boxing is a brutal sport, you know. So yeah, you know. And hopefully, and hopefully, it's not going one of those things that affects morale going forward. Because I mean, morale has been classy about it. I mean, I think dude said he went to visit. He visited him in the hospital and everything like that. So I mean, you know, I mean, he, yeah, that's crazy. He showed off, and he and then after that, he, he kind of carried him to the corner. That's that's some commendable, classy stuff. Yeah, you know, that that's yeah, that, that that's nothing but class. So it's just like I mean, I just hope that mentally, you know, he doesn't get affected by, you know, oh damn, like I seriously, hit, I seriously injured a guy in the ring. Yeah, uh, like how Matthias lost a zero at, shortly after after the maximum stuff. Yeah, exactly. You know, but uh, yeah, no, yeah, you hate to say, and then I just hope that Showtime, Showtime, you know, decides to. I mean, it's probably not gonna. I mean, it's not they're not gonna scrub it all the way, but I hope that they actually delete the tweets actually. Show that knockout and everything like that, because yeah, it's yeah, the knockout is just it's just sick to watch. It, it's 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 a really bad knockout, um, you know. But uh, but overall, at least that show, I mean, the Showtime card for what it was, you know, I mean, you you, you didn't expect the drama that it would have, but it had plenty of it, you know, for a, a pretty nondescript card. And I think right now that's probably like the final PBC card that's on the schedule for this year, at least as far as we know. Uh, I mean, until they officially announce some of the others that's supposed to happen. Uh, yeah, no, because I mean they announced uh, Michelle Rivera and Frank Martin for December seventeenth. Right, yeah, also, that I'm hearing will be at in Minnesota. Of course. Yeah, that's what PBC. What once they once they once they get good crowds in one area, uh, yeah, they they like to stick to their area. Yeah, I mean, Broadway is not happy about that because, like, he's like, why is Michelle Rivera in Minnesota? Like, he should be in like you know the tri-state area close by. Like, I don't know, it's just a weird a weird fucking place to put I mean, uh, yeah. a, a Dominican and where the hell is Frank Martin from Texas? I think Indiana, or uh, Indiana, Indiana, yeah. But I think he fights out of Texas because he's, he's under, he should be a really under a Spence, the Spence, you know, next Spence fight. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. This is a weird place to put it, but it is what it is. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, we've talked about this before. I mean, like having like Porter, like you know, Porter's from fucking Ohio, but he never fought there. It's just like you know, or yeah, Thurman, Thurman in Florida, but Thurman the, after the fucking Colossal fight, I think it was his last Florida fight. He never fought. He never fought there again. You know, so yeah, it, it's weird. The type of it, it's weird um, what, where PBC likes to hold its cards sometimes. But it's like, hey, if it's if it's a place though where they do good good business, like yeah, Minnesota. I mean, Minnesota is. I mean, they they've used Minnesota for a minute, so like, yeah, they 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 clearly like something in there. You know, they'll do it. Where of course, you know, I've been wanting them to do stuff in the new, do more New England fights, and you know, pfft, yeah, you know, yeah, you, you could do it during the pandemic, but you no, know, can't put in no big fight in New England. Like no, can't do that. <laughs> Shit. Uh, but I'm not bitter though. I'm not bitter, you know. I think it's a comeuppance for me. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I can, I, I can tell. I, I don't believe you when you say that. Oh, I'm not bitter in the most bitter way possible. You say that, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But it, you know, it is what it is, man. So, but then, uh, yeah. I mean, we have we have a couple of. Uh, I mean, we, I mean, we do have some cards that's coming up this weekend. Lower profile cards, you know. Uh, poll, poll topic, by the way. I forgot oh. about the the, the, the morale fight. Oh, yeah. Um, so, we got, we got a poll up. And this was something I thought of because of recent news that's been um, broken. Um, so, you know, if for anybody that doesn't know, you know, uh, David Benavidez, you know, a fellow 168 pounder, mm -hmm. um, he was supposed to be fighting Uskatagi, and all of us went collectively there. Yeah, yeah. And then we, we got good news that that fight was being called off. So, you know, all the whole suspicious thing and the, you know, the PD, all that. So, thankfully, we didn't get that. And then, all of a sudden, so, you know, shout out to Jake Donovan. He was the first to break it, was that Benavidez was nearing a deal with Plant. And then Plant posted it on his social media, and it became official. So we are now getting uh, David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant. Now, here's the funny thing. Uh, then, a couple days later, and he was holding on to this. He was sitting on this. And he was waiting for the right time to say this. Uh, Jake Donovan basically said that uh, Benavidez's team lied to him. Um, they tried to say that, like, they were trying to say that Plant was pricing themselves, pricing himself out of the fight, and that they weren't going to go through with it, and that if if he kept on pricing himself out, they were going to move on and push for the Morel to fight David Morel because Morel has been calling out uh, Benavidez find out that that was a lie plant never priced himself out he was never issued with the money and he eventually signed so time for the fight so it sounds like to me that benavidez was trying to weasel himself out of the plant fight and go to a fight with morel now why would he do that unless maybe he thinks that morel is an easier fight than plant because that's what it sounds like to me mm -hmm. right so you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I needed to get the people's, you know, we needed, we gang needed the people's opinion. So, you know, put up a poll. Um, is Caleb Plant a tougher fight for David Benavidez than David Morrell? Yes or no? We got 59 votes so far. Keep voting, keep voting. And 58% said, yes, Caleb Plant is a tougher fight than ben, for Benavidez than Morrell. 42% said no. So, pretty close. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and in another way, in, well, I mean, of course, for me, I mean, I'm not the most, uh, you know, I'm not the highest on, Cal on Caleb Plant, like, at all. <laughs> so, it's like, you know. Me neither, but, yeah, me neither. <laughs> but, I mean, that, that, I mean, that 70, I mean, to me, I thought Benavidez would, would, would wash Plant, but now it's like 60 40 now, maybe 55 45. Mm. Based off that Darrell knock, I'm not gonna lie. You know, Bredman is enough. It's a great fight. I mean, shit. It'll probably be per personally, personally, me personally, I'll be honest. I think Morel is a tougher fight uh, for Benavidez than Plant is. Completely honest. And and me, I just see too. that. Me too. And, and I wouldn't. I'd be. I voted Plant, but the only reason I voted Plant because I felt like Plant is like reinvigorated now. And 
he has the size, the physicality, he has the, 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 the trainer, the power, the speed, and he has the, the boxing ability, the movement. Like, I feel like he's... It's like Morel has all the offensive shit that you want Plant to have. Yeah, but I mean, Plant definitely... I mean, being in there with Canelo, new trainer, you know... That not and Darrell and all the other fights, you know, Ukateki, all of them. Not not just, you know, the Canelo fight. Like Morel, he doesn't have a um he just has all the attributes and shit you want to match up with Benavides, but he doesn't have none of the um like the mental part of it. So see to me see to me the issue with Plant is and Plant has a style that will give Benavides a lot of trouble. And especially with his, you know, with the new trainer and all that, the problem is that actually works against him too. Because he's going he's to be sitting down on his punches more, which means more opportunities for Ben for for Benavides to tag him. Plus, you know, his, his gas stem and his his gas tank. I still have questions about it. If he gases out against Benavides, he's done. For. Yeah, I need absolutely. to see pause. I need to see like them face to face because I always felt Benavides was much bigger, you know, much uh, much bigger, you know. Fighter than Plant, so it's not a to... small guy at all. So I feel like Benavidez is still much bigger. So I don't. I need to see them face to face before I kind of get a full, you know, digestion of what really is going to go on in that fight. This time. Whereas Morel, Morel is is just as big as Benavidez. He's not going to be able to bully Benavidez, uh, bully Morel like he could anybody else. Morel is the one guy that could take it to him offensively. Like and that can match Benavidez and actually go further. I think it's like I think you give him a couple more fights, and I'm picking Morel to beat Benavidez. Loki, me too. Even though I like, like if, if they were to fight now, if they were to fight now, I would favor Benavidez. Give give Morel a couple more fights, and I'm picking Morel. Loki, me too. I, I love Coke Boy Benavidez, but. Morel's, I love that you what, what, what kind of fights are we give him Morel though, man? That's the thing. Like. I mean, there's nothing really to give him. There's really nothing to give him at one six. I mean, you want to fight him one of those bums that been. I mean, sorry, one of those jobbers Benavides fought. There's no point, you know. At this point, I feel like, you know, uh, you think Morel's ready for that kind of fight? Does, does he beat a Tyrone Davis? Yeah, I was gonna say that. Like, the dude that he just fought, Idos is not like a bag. Like that, no, uh, Idos is like the thing is, Idos has a style that like if if. Morel was sloppy, he would have been exposed. Like, Idos would have exposed Berlanga. Idos would have beaten Berlanga. Let's oh, be, I'm going to be completely oh, yeah. honest. Yeah, he's so yeah, that's facts. He would have beat. He would have beat. How about like a Jesse Hart? But as, or is that a step back for, uh, for No, Jesse Hart's not a step back at all. For Morel. I mean, I feel like, like Morel needs that maybe one or two more, you know. I don't know about Kyron. I guess a Kyron seems logical because he's one of those guys that PBC just feeds to their 168 guys. Um, but. It's a great fight. I mean, it really is a. I mean, hopefully, he gets the winner because I feel like I don't think Canelo's gonna fight. It, you know, well, I was just saying, you know, the winner is basically gonna be in line for a Canelo fight. Yeah, mo most likely we'll see. But I don't know if Canelo wants to fight Benavides. I don't know why if Canelo doesn't want to fight Benavides or Mexicans, but he should. Well, no, no. Well, 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 well first off, he he even said that um, Benavides doesn't count when he's talking about Mexicans. He's talking about Mexicans actually from Mexico. He considers Benavides an American. Okay. <laughs> I, I know he might have said that. Yeah. Either, either way, it's just nice. the, either way they they need to like Canelo. Can, I mean, if if you know if Benavides gets his shit together and he beats and he beats Plant like. That needs to be that needs to be because I mean if he's not facing before on a rematch he needs to get he needs to go handle that situation and you know and you know and go go run that fade if he can. Yep. Yeah. What we're doing just has that there's there's some more fades to be had. I'm left. Up, I don't want them to be left on the table. Right. You know because I mean and like I said, so, but hey you know at least you know Benavides' plant has got signed so we're we're gonna see. You know, we're gonna see what they, you know, what they, you know, what they're gonna do when they have their fight sometime next year. I think it's like yeah, we don't we don't leave fades on the table. We smash the fades through the table. But <laughs> yo, that's facts though. That that's real. Oh man, though, but I guess.